and let's uh, take a look at two new strokes for the drummers. We're now looking at the top of nine in the drum book, or it's actually the drum and mallet book, but we're looking on the left side, which is for drums. And we see this new thing on page nine that says multiple bounce stroke. We often call this a buzz stroke because of the sound it makes, as well as the way that they write that buzz stroke with a Z through the stem of a quarter note. And so that's what we're gonna be talking about is a buzz stroke or a multiple bounce stroke. Let's just take a quick look at it and then I'll show you an example of this. Uh, if you look at the top, it says, here's how it's written. You'll see that the book does this several times. They'll write it a certain way in the music, but this is what you're actually gonna play. Notice it says left, 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 but it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. So it gets louder to softer and then right, 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 right. So we're trying to get one stroke to bounce more than once. Before this point, we've just been playing one tap or one bounce per uh, per note. Now we're going to be playing more than one. Before when we play a single one, I call that a tap and I'd call this one a buzz. Okay, so let me uh, move this around so you can see a little stroke in this. I'm going to do this on a countertop so hopefully you can hear it a little cleaner than if it were on a drum. So here, as you're looking at this, here's the stick. Normally I would hit it just a single time with the drum. A single tap. Hear that tap? Tap. Tap. But when I do a multiple stroke or a, a multiple bounce or a buzz stroke, I'm going to actually be pushing it down. So it ends up stopping on the head. But I want it to bounce. I don't want it to go. That's not enough bounce. I need it bouncing more. But I'm also not going to just let it loose. Not that, that's slow. So if you'll notice, I'm gonna bring my hand in front of here. Hopefully you can see this. When I'm holding the drumstick, I got my thumb on the side. I've got the, the, the knuckle and the, and the first finger, that uh, first knuckle on the finger and the thumb on the side. That's the way I would grip it. And then underneath, I've got these other fingers that are here to help. And in this case, I'm really using my second finger to help kind of help balance and push it into, push it into this. I'm gonna move over here so you can maybe see this a little better. So it's loose back here, but I've got it, I'm going to be pushing down with that and make sure we're getting lots of good bounce because that's going to lead us into what we call rolls later on in the year and that's a lot of fun. So you got to get a good buzz stroke now to get good rolls later. Let's turn over to page 11 and on page 11 we see a new one called flam, F-L-A-M. Now a flam looks like it's a regular note, but it's got a tiny little note in front of it and that's what makes it the flam. There's actually two sounds that are going to be made. And here we see one that's a left, uh, a right flam. Here's one that's a left flam. A right flam, it starts with a little bitty left right before the right. A left flam would start with a little bitty right right before the left. So what we're trying to do is getting get two sounds. Notice even the word flam. There's actually two sounds, flam. So it's not just a one syllable. It's actually kind of two syllables, flam, flam, flam. Now, if it hits exactly at the same time, it's not a flam. If it hits too far apart, it's not a flam. It's, this is kind of a trick. The, the thing that they suggest is to take both sticks up higher, but leave one closer to the uh, drum head, and then drop them both at the same time, and then that should give us our flam. I'm going to set this up so you can see this, and we'll show you this. Uh, but notice on number 36, here we have all right flams for the entire thing of, of 36. Flam, rest, flam, rest, Flam, rest, whoops, can't quite see that on that, can you? There you go. Flam, rest, flam, rest, flam, rest. And they're all right flams. Then on number 37, they have all left flams. Flam, rest, flam, rest. All right, I'm going to see if I can set this up so you can see this. All right, we're now actually looking down about my uh, eye angle as I'm looking down at this little countertop here. So notice as I play, if I play them both at the same time, that's not a flam, that's not a flam. A flam, I'm gonna be bringing these up and I'm, let's, let's make this a right flam. So I'm gonna take the right one up on top and I'm gonna be pushing them both down at the same time so that this one hits right before that one hits. Okay, so here we go, watch this. So it's almost together, but not quite together. That's a right flam. Flam, 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 flam. If we go too far, that's not a flam either. So it's a little bit of a trick there. Now let's go the other way. This will be a left flam. I'm missing some of those too. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, eventually you'll get it where you won't have to raise them up and move them together. You'll be able to just be able to play flams. Okay. So that's what we're working with with a flam. So here's our buzzes. Right? Not 
that's too short of a buzz. We need a good buzz. And then flam, 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 flam. And if you can do those two sounds, adding that to your tap that you should already have by now, then you're ready to play all the way up through page 11 for sure. You should be able to play all the rhythms that you see there. All right, have at it, enjoy it, and enjoy playing.